Last week I showed you a streaming app that you guys really loved. I got an overwhelming amount of positive feedback telling me how good it was. Well today I have even a better one. This one has features that the other one doesn't have. For example, the other one was only available for Windows and iOS. This one already has the Android app available for you. Also subtitles among other features that I'm about to show you right now. So let's go straight into it. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. What I'm about to show you now is simply fantastic and I know I've said this before but technology keeps getting better and better and better. It keeps evolving and there are always new things and better things. Take a look at these. The reason why I told you is a lot better than the other one and I think, in my opinion, it's even better than Terrarium it's because he has no ads. Terrarium, you have to click uh, uh, escape and skip in order to get to the movie or the show or whatever you want to watch. And the developer is really upset, threatening to cancel and abandon the whole project because he's not making as much money as he used to because a lot of people and most people are now using the ad-free version. Here, there's no ads at all and he has a lot of features that you won't find anywhere else. For example, you have movies, animes, and TV shows, right? And if you scroll down to the bottom, the list is basically endless. You have pretty much everything. But here is what's interesting. And please watch the entire video uh, because we're gonna go into the settings. I'm gonna show you how to add Tract. If you don't know what Tract is, I'm gonna do a detailed video about it. It also has Real Debris. If you don't know what Real Debris is, I'm going to do a separate video about it. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Alrighty? Now, like I said, movies and TV shows. And here you can tell it, show me the movies only. I'm in the mood to watch something from 2014. Show me the stuff from 2014. Here's everything that came out in 2014. Of course, you can scroll to the bottom. But now, show me only the documentaries that happened in 2014. So we're gonna come here to genre, we're gonna come to documentaries, and these are all the documentaries that they produced in the year in the year 2014, and you can click them and watch them from there. This one also works like Terrarium, it scrapes all of the websites, all of the web for links, and then you click on the link of the quality that you want. Alrighty, now, if you're in the mood for something, let's say from 2016, you can click on 2016 right here, but only show me comedies from 2016. Then you come right here, you filter it to comedy, and then you only have comedies from uh, 2016 right there. You can browse through them and play them from there. All right? Like I said, you click it, and then you click on watch now, it's gonna populate all of the uh, sources, all of the URLs, and then you pick the one you want. It also has subtitles, like I explained in the beginning of the video. You can come right here and select the subtitle that you want, from English to Arabic, Chinese, Spanish, French, German, and so forth. And then you click on the movie, and the movie will start playing. Some of them may take 10, 15 seconds to start, but once they start, they're pretty smooth without any buffering. Before you watch any movie or a show, by the way, it tells you the actors are playing in the movie. You can watch the trailer in HD as well. If you like what you see, then you can start playing and watch the entire film. Righty, let me come right here back and let's come into the settings. And in the settings, you can tweak the providers. If you don't like uh, SD movies, if you are only looking for HD, and you know of a provider that only provides SD, you can unselect it. You simply click it, take that provider off, and it won't show up anymore. You have some more right here on the bottom, as well as some more right here on the bottom as well. So you can tweak them, you can take providers off, that way it populates the results a lot faster. Right here, you can clear cache to keep your Fire TV stick or your box running smoother and cleaner, so that way it doesn't get filled up with a lot of stuff. Once a week or so, you can clear a cache and that'll maintain it very light, okay? 
you have clear history right here, clear watch list, clear recent, but the most important piece right here is the cache. Now inside the settings as well, you have tracked and you also have real debris and you have a look to or all you see. And then you go in there, you enter your account, username and password. A lot of these accounts are free and then you can enjoy them free. Real Debris is a premium account for premium HD links. But again, a lot of you have that account. You go in there, you enter your credentials, and then you're able to enjoy it like that. An incredible app. When I saw these, I was like, I have to bring it to my wonderful subscribers so they can also enjoy it. More and more people are shifting little by little towards Android apps since Cody hasn't been working all that great lately. Although I have a couple of great add-ons that I want to present to you shortly. And for that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them. Also, if you found this video helpful, if it helped you in any way, give it a big like so that way you help others in the process. Let me know what you think about TTV. It doesn't matter what I think is it matters what you think so let me know your experience using this app down below in the comment section and i will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and happy streaming everyone